to another episode of it, uh, Super Reaction Bros. I'm Krista. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the teaser trailer for The Report. This stars Adam Driver, mm -hmm. and it's being written and directed by the writer of um, The Born the Born Ultimatum and Contagion, pretty much. Uh, the premise is Adam Driver plays a... It's based on true story and follows a, uh, a CIA uh, Senate staffer, pretty much, who is tasked with investigating uh, the CIA's Post 9/11 interrogation program. Yeah, that's what that's, that's what this is. Really and of going course, around. anybody who has kept up with the news for the past 15 to 18 years, roughly, knows exactly what he found. Oh yes, he did. Some very interesting stuff, which I'll leave on that. But yeah, let's. That's what this is all leading around, pretty much. This was all you know him following all, all these reports. So. Um, it looked like he's been at certain film festivals already, pretty much, and now it's like it's, it, Amazon was able to grab a hold of it themselves, pretty much. So, let's just dive right into this for the teaser trailer for The Report. So, here we go. After 9-11, everyone was scared. Scared it might happen again. I imagine, man. It was my second day of grad school. Next day, I changed all my classes to national security. Morning, Dan. Morning, Senator. Have you seen the story today in the New York Times? Evidently, the CIA mm. destroyed tapes of interrogations of Al-Qaeda detainees. I want to find out what was on the tapes, why they were destroyed. No paper. Paper is how we get people in trouble at our place. At our place, paper is how we keep track of laws. Mm. Oh! Last night I found this. He's detaining number 24. Did you guys use this thing one again? No, we want you to hang They waterboarded him 183 times. Everything they got from him was either a lie or something they already had. If it works, why do you need to do it 183 times? Maybe when the report comes out, people will finally see that. I vehemently disagree with the narrative here. The United States does not torture. And you need to be careful here. They can't destroy the documents. They can go after the next best thing. You. Hmm. They claim they saved lives, but what they really did was make it impossible to prosecute a mass murderer. Because if what we did to him ever came out in the court of law, the case is over. The guy plans 9 11. We will not allow I like that. Yeah. Their to gain I always forget in that Benning's name. We need to change our How does that even happen? Nothing could be further from the democracy is messy. Had your report, we would print it. <laughs> no, if it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out the right way. It's gonna yeah. come out the way I want it. I like that the torture report, not just the report. Jesus. Why does Tim Blake Nelson always play a shady government guy? But he does it well, though. He does it well, though. But like, yeah. So um, fuck him. I only brought Bam Driver, but good lord, does that have a great cast. cast? Yeah, it does. It really does. It's really diving into. It. What I like as ca it's capturing pretty much this is capturing pretty much everybody's point of views pretty much from John Hamm's point of view from the pol it looks like more of like the political side of things you know and you got his point of view where it's like he's trying to get the truth out there the right way. I mean, just that one thing where he's like they torture him 183 times and they either told him lies or stuff they already knew. Yeah, and it's like then why torture him 183 times and it's like just the fact going they just wanted something. They just wanted to do something. Yeah. So, like I said, if anybody's ever kept up with the news in the last decade and a half... Or is into these type of films where it's like they really dive into the politics that were behind you know, you all already, this. You already know this story. This, hell, there's other movies that did that kind of, you know, kind of touch upon this. Zero Dark Three did that. Yeah. As well as I can't, there a couple of other political films have touched on these subjects. This is, I think, generally like the first film that really just focuses on that aspect, the only that yeah. aspect, pretty much. The one much. person that was like trying to do his best to, you know, bring Yeah, he was hired by, you know, Annette Bain's character to go and see what was, you know, yeah. why would they burn all these tapes and stuff, and like, now knowing the whole story, he's like, no, we're not There's doing a, it we're it. not doing a book, this is going through the right channels, we're doing like, this right. We're doing this right, we're doing this the right way, you know, and that's why he got, even he was upset going, it's just like, this sucks when pretty much it's like, even if we find the people, pretty much, but if we find out, oh, we tortured them, then it's like, what the hell? You know, we there's no way we can actually, you know, 
put them through justice, pretty much. We can't put them to the right put it through the right system to bring them down. Instead of just saying, "Oh, we can't arrest them because we tortured him and it's all on tapes." Yeah, you know, so we can't do anything like that. And that's what it's like. That's what's really what she's trying to show here. It's just like we want to do this the right way. You got to do it the right way. I mean, yeah. there's there's different people's opinions on this overall, <laughs> and I'm hoping this pretty much it's like from what I'm seeing here, they're showing every single side of it. It's not just taking one. It doesn't feel like it's taking one side. It's looking at pretty much everything that went down from every point of view, pretty much how it happened. Oh yeah, that's where you have Tim Blake's argument, Tim Blake Nelson's argument about it as yeah, well. Yeah, his the argument with it, John Hamm's argument, and even his argument, pretty much the one who's actually investigating. Yeah, this. this definitely does look like a good film. You definitely can tell it's from somebody who's done these type of films for. And of course, it's produced by Steven Soderbergh, who's who does, who's, who, he who's does, done movies like this before. He does make these movies very well done. And he gets the right so, information. Put so, together. being his name attached to it definitely puts some more credibility on it overall. Yeah, exactly. And it does look like a good film. I think Adam Driver is a great actor. He's you know nowadays, yeah, best known more for like either um, Kylo Ren or like being more of a com- like a like a low low tone neutral comedic actor. Which yeah. Exactly. You don't get a lot of his more dramatic roles, so oh, not counting over dramatic roles in, in Star Wars, but like exactly. Yeah. So like I, I I wish the best for him. I believe it's coming out in fall, so it's already yeah, it's coming out in November pretty much. So it's already it's another one of those Oscar season films. So like we're gonna be getting Watch more of now. these. If anybody's been keeping up this week, you already know how top heavy a lot the first half of this week has been with um, trailers pretty yeah. much. Like, you got big name stars all over the place trying to make their names and make it to the Academy Awards next year. So, yeah. whoo boy, it's going to be alright. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about stuff like this, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer overall. Even if you do know like the, the you know everything that went down, or you, know, you don't you, you know you heard about this, but you didn't know the de- full details of how it all went down, you know with within the government itself, you know is it has you interested? Does it have you intrigue of everything like this overall? Um, what do you guys think of the cast? What they got pretty much attached to this? You think it's going to be a film that's worthy enough to be maybe nominated at the Oscars? Who knows? Um, I mean, it's still very, very, very It does early. seem like Adam Driver's really trying. He's really pushing in this film. So let us know in the comments below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Adam Driver-driven episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.